What's up YouTube, Kanye back here again for another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use private mode in Microsoft Edge. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so here we are in Microsoft Edge. All you're going to do is come up to the top right to the three dots, click on them, and go to New in Private Window. Once you're in your new and private window, you're going to see what in private browsing actually does. So it deletes your browsing info when you close all in private windows, save collections, favorites, and downloads, but not download history. And it prevents Microsoft Bing searches from being associated. What it does not do, hide your browsing history from your school, employer, internet service provider, give you additional protection from tracking by default, add additional protection to what's available in normal browsing. So keep in mind, anything you do in your in private browsing is definitely gonna be able to be tracked. Like there's no way not to be able to be tracked on a PC that's at work, that's at school. They're tracking, I hate to say it, but it is what it is. So this is what it does versus what it doesn't do. You can also select always use strict tracking prevention when browsing in private. You can also click on more detail here and that'll give you a little more detail about what in private browsing does but for me you know i use it if i'm just using a pc in a public situation and i don't want my like details saved on it so like let's say i log into my google account and i don't want my google account saved on the pc but right when i get done i can just close it out and my google account is not saved onto that pc so other people can log on to it and see my gmail or maybe my Google Drive or something like that. But that's how you use in private browsing in Microsoft Edge. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down in the comment section and then make sure you like and subscribe and don't forget to take it easy.